Research at the Center for Advanced Energy Studies is taking on another dimension with a 3D device known as a computer-assisted virtual environment. The cave uses projection to display high-end computer graphics on three walls and the floor. By wearing 3D glasses to create depth perception and holding a wand to move and rotate images, users can delve into data. With the cave, engineers, scientists, and others can literally walk into their data and interact with it, allowing them to gain new insight into a model or problem. This technology allows the advanced test reactor personnel to uh, understand how the reactor vessel and other uh, pieces of the plant are assembled. It allows us to effectively, efficiently, and safely perform uh, work in a virtual environment and then bring that technology or that information or understanding back to the plant so that we can effectively and efficiently use uh, it in our daily work. Kay's Geofluids Energy Science researchers use the cave to examine the layers of rock at Malad Gorge and whether similar formations could someday act as underground storage for carbon dioxide. LiDAR data of the gorge, which was produced with laser scans, provides them with a precise model that took days to create. We use the cave as a surrogate because we're collecting all this detailed data from the field and then we can run our models and see what kind of results we get. And then instead, of, if we're not sure of a small area, instead of driving all the way back to the field area, we could go in the cave and look at small areas in detail and then we could refine our models and go back through and, and, and try to run things again to get a better result. Kays is the only facility in Idaho, Montana, and Utah with a cave. Kays operates the cave as a user facility so industry, universities, government agencies, and others can access it. Idaho Falls Power uses it to examine a new transmission line route it wants to build north of the city. By taking LiDAR data of the route and overlaying it with images of proposed power lines, the utility has been able to understand how the project would affect vegetation, road access points, and individual landowners. For what we do as a matter of communicating with people, we live in a visual world and um, the biggest selling point for any project is our ability to communicate with the public and the agencies that we are impacting with a particular alignment and so to be able to present that to them in a three-dimensional world is um, I think a phenomenal tool that we hope to learn to use effectively and um, efficiently as we move forward with the different technology. In addition to being a powerful research tool, the CAVE is aiding INL and K's in their mission to increase the number of students entering the science, technology, engineering, and math fields. Students are able to visualize science and math and understand how computer modeling is aiding research. The CAVE here in the K's facility is one of the gems that everybody likes to see and likes to visit. It's, it's, visited, it's visited extensively by people from the community, from around the state, from industry partners and from people within the laboratory. The thing that people really walk away from the cave with is, is a, a, a new appreciation for the, these advanced capabilities. They can, they, the ability to see their data in this three-dimensional space opens the door to all kinds of new exciting research and collaborations.